if your plan is to ultimately burn something down, you should never show it too much love. Yeah. Never built a real fire before. Come get it. How much have you had to drink? Nowhere near enough, my friend. It's murky pass. Oh, should she be getting that close? I guess we'll find out, huh? Hey, you okay? Baby, you okay? Would you even give a shit if I died out there? Hey, you're bleeding. Let me help you. Leave me alone. I'm gonna show it to my boyfriend. Real up close. One injury is enough, you guys. She won't let me help her. Let him help you. I don't need it. Yeah, you do. It's pretty ironic coming from you, Jack. Good one, Dash. Come on, baby. Let's get you cleaned up. Yeah, I guess I'll just grab the board. Five hundred grand. Where's our discount? Our, our fucking loyalty card up in this bitch. You want a loyalty card? You fuck up and get medical ID card. This smells so good, it turned me Chinese. Do you hear the way your daughter's talking to me, Mr. Wu? Oh, don't you play coy with me. I know you're over there plotting some kung fu master shit right now. Best crystal in town. No one but a cook. <laughs> 350. And you can tell Mr. Wu to throw in some of those samurai grade roll ups he got over there. This cat, not a fucking peep, ever. <laughs> you know why? You don't pass the door first. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> DA! Free! Nobody move! Anybody who moves is a lag breakfast! You too, fuck off. Put your arms down. This isn't a CrossFit class. Do you know who I am? Crow. Man of few words, but profound meaning. I like that sitting style that waitresses do at the Hooters. It creates an air of informality. The customers think that the waitress is their friend, but it's all just an elaborate act. She doesn't give a shit about them. All she cares about is that nice, juicy tip that's coming at the end of the night. And she knows full well the customers only care about nice, juicy tits. They're going to be in their faces for the duration of their visit. This is how exploitation works, you see? In case you haven't gotten it yet, I'm the waitress, you're the customers. I want you to have a good night. Indulge in whatever turns you on. However, the only reason I'm being in any way hospitable right now, simply because I'm sure as shit walking out the door with that tip by the end of my shift. I see we're doing this in broad daylight now. What are you afraid of, Lemon? The long arm of the law? Will you do me a favor when those guys are around? Don't call me Lemon. As long as you're on my payroll, I can call you whatever the fuck I want, Lehman. Frustrated, the mystery's the best part. Savor it. I need a hammer. <laughs> oh, you guys hear that? Oh my god, signal! Yes! Welcome to paradise. 
Hey guys, we have some gear that needs checking. What could be more important than that? Uh, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500. How much real money can you be making right now, honestly? Look, I have to know what the markets are doing to know where the opportunities lie. Numbers and pixels, just a made up version of the world. What you found today is real. Are you saying that there could be $10 million hidden in this tiny little box? Because if so, I will pry this thing open with my bare hands right now. I'm just saying, we don't always know what we're looking for until we finally find it. Wow, you have like 20 missed calls and a bunch of messages. All right, say so switch it off. I, I don't give a shit. Wait, you did move your shifts for this week, right? You know I hate my job. You hate every job. Because I'm a minimum wage bitch. You need a job. Everyone needs a job. Oh, yeah, I do? Well, he doesn't. Look at him, at the beck and call of his computer, gambling just to feel alive. Yeah, it's a damn sight better than scraping barnacles off boats. Oh, is it? Really? Or slowly selling your soul to the devil easier for you to stomach? Guys. How about we go someplace where there definitely is no signal? I love that. This better be worth it. It's tradition. Wow. So you guys brought me to meet the Grim Reaper. The Santa Muerte, she's a deity. The Catholic Church used to condemn anybody who worshiped her, so people came here in secret. This whole island, it's hers. Every time we come, we uh, pay our respects, and she watches over us. The colors you choose to burn represent her different robes. White for purity, blue for wisdom, red for love. And the black? The smugglers used to protect their treasure with the black lady. And if you ever see the black lady around here, you run. <laughs> You'll never crack that. Challenge accepted. Ooh. I'd do this for the rest of my life if I could. Why don't we steal the sailboat? I mean, how would they ever find it? <laughs> it's not as easy as it sounds, bro. It's not easy, but I know you could get away with it. The real question is, are you ready to spend the rest of your life as a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But people can change. Can life change, though? There goes our peace and quiet. Weekend warriors, you gotta love them. No. Uh. <laughs> These are treasure. <laughs> I guess you really are a pirate now. Uh, next time, though, you find a map. One of us. One, One of, of us! us. Answer my question, by the way. Can life actually change, though? You're drunk. Seriously, answer it. Fine. No. I think all we can hope to change is ourselves. <laughs> life is completely out of our control. You know. Oh. Monkey. No. Monkey, 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 see it. Monkey, do. Look, I know that I'm probably not the kind of guy you go, but. Yes, don't. But I would give it all up. The money, the opportunities, the lifestyle. To be that guy. I'm not somebody who can be left. I, I can become that person. You just, you gotta let me try. No, it's not about you being wrong for me. It's about me being very, very wrong for anybody else. So that's it? <laughs> the whole, it's, it's not you, it's, it's me thing.
try it. See what happens. Heads up, Tracker! Ah! Heads up! Ah! Get her ass! Ah! Oh! Don't let the boys! Got her ass. of believing in something is, your faith eventually gets tested. Baby. Baby. We're gonna fix it. You know? We're gonna get you a new life. We're gonna scrape by. We're gonna save up. You've gotta tell us what's going on. What are we talking about? I saw the black lady. She's down there protecting something. I thought that the only time you see the black lady is, or whatever she's called, is when someone's using her to protect a treasure, right? The only treasure around here, if you can call it that, is drugs. It's something bad, real bad. I mean, you saw the shrine? Well, if there's drugs down there, we should definitely go down and destroy them. Well, that's what you would want. Uh, yeah, it's the moral thing to do. Come on, guys, let's fuck up a bad guy's day. Whoa, hold on there, Chief, okay? If there are drugs down there, I say we take them and we sell them. That is a terrible idea, Dash. I think it's a great idea. Why? I mean, by your logic, having money's fine. It's, it's the chasing after money that fucks people yeah. up, right? Thank you, see? You telling me you want to be Scarfaces, know how to move narcotics? How to keep shit on the down low? Hmm? You also think I'm gonna let an ounce of smack or coke on this boat with a recovering addict okay. on board? I don't think so. Recovered addict. You know what? Shame on you, Jack. <sighs> we got an affair? <gasps> Baby, who's going with me? Are you kidding me? I'm not going back down there. It's empty. They headed to the island an hour ago. You gonna bring those keen eyes down below? Would they be useful? I'll do it. I'll go down with you. Works for me. Looks like a worthy sacrifice has been found. Let's do it. I don't like them down there with her. If this is what we think it is, she's the least of our worries. What is that, like a million dollars? <laughs> it's more like 10 million, right? Uh, try 50. Don't tug at my dick on this one, Jacker. There's no way this is 50 mil. No, there's like 500,000 per pack. There's 100 packs. You do the math. Holy shit. It's 50 million dollars. This is 50 fucking million dollars, <laughs> monkey. But that's more than 10 million a piece, right? Wait, we stole 50 million dollars? We rescued 50 million dollars. We're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it back in. What? What are, you, what are you talking about? You think you're rich? Think again. Take a look at these notes. 
pristine, sequential, high-value currency. I hate to tell you this, but whoever owes this cash is thumbing their nose at whoever they're paying off. They've made it as hard to find as possible and even harder to handle. This is $50 million of pure fuck no, you money. No, bullshit, Jacker. Bullshit. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my 20 million plus. I'm going to stash it underneath my mattress. Yeah, nice and simple. Now I've got the bank under my bed, and I'm the fucking teller. And you know what the teller says at the bank of Daniel Schrader each time he goes to make a withdrawal? Go ahead and spend that money the best way you know how. Spend that soggy devil woman money as you damn well please. She's not a soggy devil woman. You're right, she's our guardian angel. <laughs> yes. Is that right, Dash? You're gonna buy a flashy car? Yeah, cars, plural. You're gonna buy a big house too? Eh, well, I have to have somewhere to stash it, don't I, Jacker? Mm. She's right. She's right. I mean, no car dealership, no real estate agent, no bank manager is gonna let you slide this kind of big money across the table without treating it as highly suspicious. Just one serial number flags up and you've got to explain why you've got $20 million stashed under your bed, where you got it, how you got it, and no one's gonna believe you simply you've been running a really long paper route for the last few decades. We can't have the money? Wait, well, you guys are always talking about opportunity. This right here, this is opportunity. Okay, there's a part of me that's saying, let's take the cash and hire the best damn lawyers around and come what may. Yes, yes. Okay, he's yes. thinking, okay. Hey, hey, yes, hey, where are you going? Oh, way to ruin our dreams, mom. Fucking shit. What'd you call me? Oh, I'm sorry, that was out of line. My mom's not a bitch. How are you all willing to go to turn $50 million of dirty drug money into something you can actually cash in? Hmm? How serious are you? Deadly fucking serious. Why? You? I'm certainly listening. Rosie. What, like commit a crime serious? I know how to get that money cleaned. I don't want any questions about how I know. I don't want any questions about why I know. All I need from you is a willingness to take a few risks, break a few laws, potentially piss off the crazy motherfucker this likely belongs to. Because we're leaving right now. And you decide whether or not we try to turn this into bank or we throw it back in where we found it. But leaving right now, Jack, there's, there's no wind. Unless you're gonna blow a Force 9 out your ass, we're pretty much sitting <laughs> ducks for the time being. We're not playing by the rules anymore. And we're not letting anything hold us back. than the other way around. Yes, I love that. I just can't imagine being rich. Well, baby, just gotta open your mind. See us all out, right? <laughs> Eliminates any differences? <laughs> well, I guess that depends if you see people's products of their potential or products of their past. What in anybody's past can be bigger than finding $50 million? Please tell me. Oh. <sighs> baby girl. Yeah. I need you to relax. Okay. Don't force it. Okay. Okay? Okay. Mm, breathe with me. Just see what you want to see. <gasps> what do you see? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I see it. You see it? Oh, I see it. You see it? We are happy and rich. Yes. Oh, so freaking it Yes! Out. <laughs> ah!
They say the devil never dresses down because pride is the deadliest of the seven sins. Looking good, Simon. It's Mr. Varick to you. I think you'll find the devil never dresses down because he knows lust lingers for eternity. And envy is everywhere. Once a sinner, always a sinner. Step into my office. There should be a strict policy against you guys buying these things fully loaded. It's a waste of taxpayers' dollars. Am I right? We've got word of a transfer down in the Gulf. Los Peros del Diablo left it, and we've reason to believe it's been collected. We just want you saying on the record it wasn't you. I haven't touched it. Glad to hear it. I'll certainly make sure you put that on the record. Layman, why don't you go sniff around that limo, make sure our fashionable friend here is keeping his nose nice and clean? Okay. There is a problem? Apart from the fact the money's not there? All the bullshit theatrics from Las Perras. I want my money in full. Anybody that stands in my path is dead already. They just don't know yet. Maybe we'll warn them. Hey, John. Get the fuck away from my car unless you got a warrant. Don't worry, Zalman. I'm not gonna bust you on some bullshit charge. I'm gonna take apart what you did to this world piece by piece. Then why the fuck you working with that bitch? <laughs> this ain't good. Okay, serious suggestion? We could just dump the cash overboard to throw him off our tail. Oh my God, are you seriously giving up already? Something tells me that your average respectable drug lord isn't gonna forgive his cash being stolen, even if it's for paid in full. No, I'm not giving up. I'm just saying we have options. Like fighting. Oh, I appreciate that. Your imagination's come back, baby. I do. That's even more stupid than him wanting to throw the cash overboard. Whereas he's right. Drink up, Lemon. We've got a long day ahead of us. Tell me you got me out of bed early to run around after a measly 50 mil. So you missed your spin class, boo fucking who. You can't see wood from the trees here? This should be an easy win. Is that the case? Because we don't have a single lead. Don't you worry about that. I've got some friends working on it. Uh, yeah. I get it. You don't like working under me. I figured that's on the account of me being a particularly unlikable motherfucker, so that's fine. But me being a particularly unlikable motherfucker is something I pride myself on. <laughs> so how about this? You help me get this money, and I help bump you up the system. Senior agent. Mm -hmm. All right. It's either an injector or a filter. Can you fix it? Dude, I'm usually under these things, not inside them. Get below deck. What about you? Don't worry about me. Go. If a shit wreck like that can catch us, anything can. I'm not gonna lie, we're dead in the water here. Well, I guess we're gonna need a faster boat. 
What about that one? Somehow, I don't think we're gonna be able to catch up with that. Hey, Dash. Yeah. Can you handle one of those? I mean, I can. So a fat, fake, tan slob like that never misses his lunch. He's not coming in at this time, he's going out. He's probably gonna wanna fuck his bimbo while he's out there, so assuming the Viagra kicks in, I'll give him an extra two minutes. We can just about make it. Hey, Jack. We need to talk. Bass, we need to move. That's it, Eddie. Give her a good tug. That's <laughs> it. Keep pulling. Work those glutes. Uh, you have fun today, baby. Come on, Eddie. Hi. <laughs> you like that, Eddie? Oh, she's a very pretty woman, sir. Yeah, yeah. She dressed like an idiot for a boat, but I gotta tell you, on land, she's built like the Mona Lisa, right? <laughs> Whatever you say, sir. Unbelievable. Hey. Here are the keys. Don't scratch it today, and maybe you'll get a tip this time. How's that, huh? Okay. 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 I just wish you'd say it, you know? Say what? <laughs> that I'm good enough for a one-night stand and that's it. You had fun the other night, right? Yeah. So what's the problem? Uh, as shocking as it may seem, some guys care about more than just casual sex. You're so fucking sensitive. That's a good thing. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'll be with you guys in a minute. Look, you keep saying that we're fundamentally incompatible, but the more I see, the more I think you're wrong. Oh. Hey! Hey, you can't do that, man. I can't fucking deal with this right now. Get in front. Yes! Oh, that's badass. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh. Right. Hey, what'd you do with the yacht? Oh, don't worry, brother. She's still floating. Looks for me. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. All right. Um, guys? Oh. What is up with boat owners and guns, dude? Put that down now. Maybe I don't even know how to use this thing. Come on. Now you do. Oh, fuck, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do! Oh! Holy shit! Oh, man, I fucking love this boat already! Yes! Okay! Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Hey, get the line. I'll get you back later. You know how that is. Better. Clear? Uh, yeah! Two hours. They sure these guys are headed north? Just had it confirmed. Get this. Got a name on the boat they took. Fair warning. That's fucking irony, man. <laughs> right? They have to tuck in here. And all we need from that video to prove that a firearm was involved once we've seized everything, got them in cuffs and made the money disappear, we turned them over to ATF for suspected gun smuggling. This is almost too easy. What am I missing? That putting him behind bars isn't exactly making amends. As long as they're out of my hair, I couldn't give a damn. If you want your precious retribution, hand them over to Zalman with his cut.
think? It seems a little casual. It does. How about that? Go. Turn. Turn. Get us out of here. Can we go? I'll call a helicopter. No. We don't have any friends in the sky. Let them enjoy the ride. It's between them and us now. Just head north. Follow the shoreline. You want to tell me what's going on? Fuck! Still working on getting the names, but it's what I've got so far. Dock worker took it with his cell phone. It's gone viral already. Can't say I'm too surprised. I've got something to show you. Turns out we're not dealing with an amateur. Look out for a vehicle, something big. We have to make the transfer fast. You can do this, okay? You back up the truck. I backed up the truck. Truck's over there. I need it over here by the boat. I don't get it. Okay, you know what? It's really easy. Do the math. Great. But just move it over to the right. Okay. Hey, slow it down. You're gonna hurt somebody. Slow it down. Nothing yet. We're still gathering evidence. You know, maybe I'm wrong, but this seems personal to you. All right, what's the protocol then? Like you said, it's personal. Come on. Oh my God, I love this truck. <laughs> it's got my air, it's got my cruise control. I'm sitting in what feels like a goddamn lazy boy right now. The truck's stolen, dude. I want to get back the money that we dropped. And since I can't keep this truck, I want to get one of my own. Dash. I'm going to name my truck Buck. OK, Dash, L listen. I'm going to get the full care package, no expense spared, because <sighs> nothing's too good for Buck. Dash, what? We're not going back, OK? Jack, it's millions of dollars. I, I don't mean to be out of line right now, but I mean, do you even have a plan? We don't need a plan, we need a strategy. And right now is to keep it cool, lay low, and find the shadiest salvage yard in town, okay? You'll get another truck named Buck. Fine. 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 Hey guys. What? Stop. Fine. You're making me nervous, stop. Shush! La tripulación de Camila. El Tobro se mira muy bien. 
Hey man, uh, we were hoping maybe you could help us make this truck disappear. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. Yeah, let's go. What's in the packages? We're taking Bibles up to Sacramento. Buffy, mira! It's a crusade. Ponlo pa' atrás. No title? No. But it's an $80,000 truck. You desperados maybe have more better luck on Craigslist. Lila! Hemos terminado aquí. Por favor, senor. Tienes razón, aliados desperados, pero no estamos aquí para un suntarte. Solo queremos un carro limpio. El único way que yo sé a limpiarlo es a quitar todos los pedazos. Are you prepared to do that with yourself? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good luck putting yourself back together. Just you. Come with me. Vete pa dentro. Hey, uh, Jack. Pick something nice? Yeah? You know, this is air con. It's all con and no air. <sighs> uh, Jack, that was our exit. No, it wasn't. But we're still heading north. In strategy, the longest way around is often the shortest way home. To James Joyce, the novelist? <laughs> no, Liddell Hart, the military strategist. We are indeed from different worlds. Think you're escaping and running to yourself. Sometimes the longest way around is the shortest way home. Different worlds, yeah. Eventually everything joins up. The question is, are you escaping or running into yourself? Hey guys, if we're taking the long way back to LA, does this make it an official road trip? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Yes, Dad. Road this trip? Is a road trip. Yes! Oh, road, fun. Fun. Yeah. road trip! Fun. Let's do this. You make this mistake, I checkmate you in just two moves. Even though I'm a step behind, you cannot defeat me. War is about starting with the right moves, not about hoping that the tide turns at the last minute and you get lucky. Okay, so, now you play. Uh, just when you thought it couldn't get any better. I should arrest you hooligans for loitering. But you could try. But we're not kids anymore. Yeah, some of you are fathers and should start acting like it. Now tell me where to look for your fucking daughter. Oh, you know, if I knew, I'd never tell you. But if I knew, I'd be there already. Put an APB out. Hey! You don't need to do this. She's your fucking daughter too. Don't remind me. your own body weight and crap, okay? I can, and I will.
Keep the change. Let's go. I'm still gonna get gas. There's no time. Take us into the back roads. It's gonna add hours. Oh, no, I forgot to pee. Oh, God. Listen, my mom is with the DEA, and my dad is one of the biggest crime lords this side of the border. I'm pretty sure what we stole is theirs, and I know they'll stop at nothing to get it back. So I don't want to hear, are we there yet, or can we stop for a pee break? Because right now we have two gangs hunting us down, and I don't know which one is worse. I told you I was weird. Good. Got him. Heading north on the 126. Copy that. Just like you thought. I see the doubt in your eyes, Lehman. Don't fall into the trap thinking you can just walk away. You're just as much a part of it as the rest of us. Is that why you're suddenly calling me by my real name? What was that? Jack, we need gas bad. You could have given us a heads up, Jack. I'm telling you, it's the curse. We betrayed the Santa Muerte. Oh my God. Are you gonna blame her too? When you both threw all of our money in your orgy of self-destruction? Why are you being so protective over money you don't even have yet? I just want my 10 mil, that's all. You're not getting 10 mil, you're getting five. Oh! <gasps> the cleaning rate is 50% at least. Okay, I am one bombshell away from walking away from you guys. Is there any other big news that you need to tell us, Jack? Look, I'm gonna pull over for the night. You guys need to just chill out, okay? Oh, well, I'm feeling pretty exposed right now. Well, sometimes it's empowering to feel vulnerable. Well, not when you're carrying around $50 million a day. Nice to know your priorities. Just don't understand why you're willing to want to self-destruct. Well, maybe that's what we have to do to start to rebuild. You are who you are. Shh. Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. You too? What do you mean, you too? Wait, are you... Are you guys serious? You're just gonna leave? Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah knock your socks off. I'll just stay here and watch our money. Come on, man. Give me the keys. No. Uh, Jack, give me the keys. What do you think, I'm gonna leave? <laughs> Thank you. I trust you. Yeah, we just pulled up for the night and we were wondering if we could come get warm with you guys. Me casa, su casa, senorita. Come get warm. Hey, oh. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. Come. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, thank you. So, do you live in that van? That van? Yeah, uh, you could say something like that. And you two in that van? Well, uh... <laughs> It turns out that three is not a crowd, actually. Now don't you kids go thinking you invented that. We're in fucking orgies before you were potential stains on the wall. Oh, come on now, Molly. <laughs> it's true. Yes, it is. Well, I think I want to live in a van, too. Everybody thinks to escape reality, you have to be rich. Bullshit. You gotta get dirt poor first, and then you grow out from there. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, well, thank you. Really? That's funny, because when I said the exact same thing, you acted like I was crazy. <sighs> hmm. Thanks for the beer. <coughs> Enjoy. 
Jack. Oh, let her brood, honey. If I can go five years cooped up in a van with this asshole, you can survive one night without her. <laughs> no, she's right, you know. Hit it, maestro. <laughs> Chew. Beat it, okay. nerd. Jack, you can't do that. You scare the shit out of me. Off the hood. Betsy needs some love. Did you find a 7-Eleven down there? Oh, just free love and payment in kind. Oh, well, I'm proud to be penniless until opportunity knocks. All right. Girl, talk to me. Why do you keep such a big part of your life from me, Jack? People just don't fit well with it. So what does that mean about the future? I mean, now that we actually have one, what does it mean? You build a box so tight around yourself, only you can fit in. That's what you do. Sometimes. That's just how it goes. That's how it goes. Still a night owl, I see. Crow? Is that sweet voice, Crow? It is! It is my sweet Crow! And Lehman, right? Hey, Lance, I want to play in your toy box. You do? Oh, I've been waiting my whole life for you to ask me that! <laughs> I wasn't asking. Even better. And Lehman, relax. Calm down. You need to meditate. Ohm. Jeez. Nice little setup you got here. Mm. Word on the street is you collect cars now. You gone soft on me? Well, as you can see, I'm still very much open for business, and yeah, I may have acquired a modest collection to help me pass the time. Think fast! <laughs> I think I might have an addictive personality. Nothing quite hides an inner evil, like a beautiful exterior. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you packing even a little heat. Hmm. Are these registered? Registered, inspected, and fully street legal. I'm talking about hey, fellas, the guns. Take a look around, do me a favor. I've forgotten what I've gotten hidden where. And you? My conscience is clear. How about yours? So, how come you come knocking on my door? Zalman's gun's not big enough? Just didn't want to give him the satisfaction of being the only reason to win this battle. <laughs> Nothing fights quite like family. How about you come back and make one you deserve? Where is the arsenal? Huh. Somewhere. Uh, fellas, I swear I remember an AMG 2 in, in, in the Merc. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Harris. 
And it's you. Just you. Come make it you and me. Hey, hey, it's not a toy. It's a gun. You understand? It's a gun. I tell you something, it's like working with kids. What's the matter? You're acting out of character. What would Dash think? Wait, you heard? I ain't got no character anymore. Maybe you're refusing to accept your character because then you'd have to accept who you really are. Well, maybe you're refusing to accept your own character because it means accepting you're not right for Jack. <laughs> Finally find a nice spot to pee in your hair. Sorry, I'll go. You really like him. But you wish you didn't. <sighs> Here, give a decrepit old lady a hand. Ugh. Oh, you feel that? Spiritual. No. That's a problem. I keep trying to open myself up, and it just pushes me further inside my head. Maybe that's where you need to go. A place that reminds you just how toxic you are. They can't be put right. Some of us contain an energy that just wants to set the world on fire. Sometimes it flickers, sometimes it rages. And sometimes it flares up and ignites all that's around. And burns those who get too close. Oh, ain't pretty. Yeah, that's progress. That's life. You're not toxic. You're incendiary. And you don't need to be put right. You need. Ever learn not to touch? You know, most people think she's like that, a classic. But what she really is is a machine like that. She spits flames. She's somebody who spent her whole life looking for saints, but all she ever found were sinners. You're just a speed bump for her, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a speed bump, man. Dash. Hmm? Did we get robbed? It's all here. What was that?
drive like an asshole. Look, I need to play a part. I mean, besides, we're headed back to L.A. It'll help us blend in. gets near them, they're mine. Psychopath. Well, we are certainly back in LA. I guess this is the, the finish line, right? Guys, this isn't the case of walking into a laundromat with $50 million and walking out with clean cash. We need to walk the walk. We need to look legit. I mean, I can do this on my own, but it would be a hell of a lot easier as a team. Wait a second, did, did you just ask for help, Jack? <laughs> Holy shit, Jacker, he's right. You did. I mean, what's next? Writing poetry and painting your nails? Leave her alone. She's growing, and she shot a lot of people today. Mm. What's wrong with my nails? Absolutely nothing. They're perfect.
You can wave your credentials around all you like. You know I can't let you in without a warrant. Eris, how you been? You know how it is, right? <laughs> Always hated the paperwork. Burning the midnight oil is always mortem. I like that kind of work ethic. You good for a quick appraisal meeting? Give us a minute, please. Be my guest. You expecting the IRS or something? Balls to take down Capone. You need to cancel whatever Jacqueline may have tried to set up with you. Jacqueline as in your daughter? She's a fraud. I'm protecting you. Word is she's on the up and up. She's just going through a phase. She wants to be like her father. It's pathetic. Do I detect a little jealousy? Fuck no. Just a mother's disappointment, right? Nothing set up. Just make sure it stays that way or this glass cell becomes a concrete one. You've been coming to me with your dirty laundry for nearly two decades. And you know you can't clean shit for me if your hands are too grubby. Eris, you sat right there. You looked me in the eye and promised immunity. We shook hands. Does the deal mean nothing to you anymore? Stay away from Jacqueline, and I'll bring you the deal that'll mean a lot more to both of us. 50 million US dollars invested in this business relationship. Until then, you watch your lip. And you call me DEA Agent Crow. Crow. I'm out. And I had such a high hopes for you. You keep me out of the loop. I can't work like that, and you know it. Well then, you're all out of luck. You know we're in a checkmate, right? And you know, going up against me brings as much heat back at you. Yeah. Turns out I didn't want that promotion as much as I thought I did. We don't all have what it takes, Lemon. And don't think you can just change back into an innocent man either. So fuck off and enjoy purgatory. You sure earned it. We do till then. Well, we're gonna make the most out of this baller ass room, is what we're gonna do. So that means you're gonna play with everything. Yeah, look at this place. Kind of be rude not to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get into character. Oh, there's a there's a mini fridge. Oh wow. Fifty percent is what we're after. To get it, we need to put out an image that we're just in town on regular business. They'll be keeping a close eye on us, and most likely have people here in the hotel right now. Go take a tour around, interact, live it up a little. Make it feel like we're not hiding up here like a bunch of cowards. But most of all, please stop acting like you fell off a hay wagon from fucking Missouri. What about him? What's he doing? Every crime lord needs a trusted bodyguard by her side. OK. <laughs> oh. I get it.
drug to someone like me, isn't it? No, it's the same to all of us. We just have different ways of coping with the addiction. It's go time. You should know I'm not usually available on such short notice. Our usual associates let us down. I appreciate you reaching out. New business always interests me, no matter how small it may be. Good. I always believe in a trial period before we really get down to business. And yet, here you are, let down by a supplier. Do you need some water? I don't want any water unless you're gonna use it to clean my fucking money. How come you're not in business with your father? I do business differently than my father. Your mother? I do everything differently than my mother. You're a bit of a ghost. Some people tell me you've been operating overseas. Of course, you could have planted those seeds yourself. You could actually be in a much weaker position. And all this could be a charade. 
It is a charade. I could stand here and put on this act all night long. And I had to do it to get you in this room. If you want the truth, I'll give it to you straight. We have the better part of $50 million right here in these cases. We found it and we took it. But we can't do anything with it because it's as dirty as money can be. Now, we came to you hoping that you can take our $50 million and give us 25 clean. Not so we can deal guns or buy drugs or buy a bigger yacht, but because I want to give my friends a second shot at life. And this is the only way I know how. Now, I know you might be saying this is risky and maybe this was all a big mistake, but mistakes are portals for discovery. And I think it's time to leap in. James Joyce. A highly unorthodox approach. Do you know what it is I do? What I really do? I clean people, not money. I'm a priest. And every bill I take is a confession. They come to me with paranoia and leave with pride. Humility becomes arrogance. Fear becomes courage. And they don't know that's what they're doing because their religion itself revolves around delusion and all their friends are followers. But you, I can't clean. So I guess you get a discount. Now, are you doing this because you found empathy in what I said or are you doing it just to piss off my mother? This is what I like to call a win-win situation. That was it. It all seems a little too easy now. We could at least brought some glitter cannons to <laughs> party, celebrate, right? Is it wrong I'm feeling far too much responsibility? Ms. Varick, there's somebody who needs to speak with you. Follow him. Ways was always part of the plan. Jack. I just didn't think it was going to happen so soon. Jack! <sighs> Jack! Gotcha.
she here too? You know, some people are so angry, they're best left to chase their own tail. My little girl, all grown up. You know, Jack, I'd say you look like a million dollars, but I'd be selling you short. This isn't me. It wasn't me either. But look where I am now. I never, I never set out to harm anyone. I just followed the path of least resistance. Then it became all about protecting the people I love. You know I've never believed that. Good. I like to think I raise you never to take anything anyone says at face value. Raised me? Is that what you call leaving a child to fend for itself? I think one day you'll understand. I only set you free. To allow you to flourish into what you were destined to become. So are we done here? I don't know. You tell me. I want to offer you a deal, but... You know, you can take that money and take it and run. Consider it an inheritance. And you go your own way. And I will never bother you again. But I can't say the same for your mother. Or you hand it back to me. Become my protege. I'll protect you from her as long as you need. Until you become so powerful, it's her who needs protecting from you. So you can either let this fight against the person you wish you were, or use it to fuel the person you need to be. I don't want you to walk away. I don't want you as my mentor. I want you in my corner during the bad times, ready to wrap your arms around me. I want what I've always wanted. I want my father. Jack. She said to meet her at the dealership down the street. Pop the trunk. Feeling submissive. Run!
supposed to fall at the last hurdle. Mom, you know I don't like you calling me that. This is your mother? Why are you even here? Just admit it. You only want me around so you can fuck with that. I guess the jig is up. But here's the thing, I don't see him protecting you right now. Either you hand the money over or what's going to transpire is your monthly crew here will be sadly killed during this pursuit. Oh, oh my God. God. There goes one. <laughs> wow. You finally let someone in. We don't do that, Jacqueline. No, you killed him by bringing him into this mess, and you know it. Drop your weapons! All of you! Don't! Don't! It's over, Crow. No dice, Lemon. I've got as much shit on you as you have on me. Is that what you think? I'll bring you the deal that will mean a lot more to both of us. Fifty million US dollars invested in this business relationship. Until then, you watch your lip, and you call me DEA agent Crow. Cover. Never piss off a partner in crime. Looks like you kids got lucky at the tables tonight. Lady Luck smiles at you like that. Better smile back, right? Then get the fuck out of Dodge before that smile turns into a frown. Those kids are gonna start dealing with their guilt until they find the redemption that they need. One day, you're not gonna be able to ignore it anymore. That's when you're gonna have to stare your sins right in the eye. That's when you'll know. I did my job. Take her away. Maybe she, she gave us a shot at a new life. <laughs> Maybe she gave us a future. But you heard what she said. Don't ever look back. You think it's because she doesn't want us to linger on the person she was? Or because she doesn't want us to see the person she's going to become?
So life has death. Why do people love me but hate you? And death replied, because you're a beautiful life. And I'm the painful truth. How painful is it? Like I've been searching for peace all my life. And all I found is a reason to start a war. Please take a seat. 